It was a time of simplicity when kids roamed free and jumped for glee when they heard the ice cream jingle. But things aren't so sweet in this dark tale from Tom Holland that melts with revenge. This one will make your teeth chatter and your spine tingle when we all scream for ice cream. YouTube, uh, welcome to another episode of Two Grumpy Reviewers. Right now, we're going to be talking about a specific episode for the Masters of Horror series, season two, episode ten. We all scream for ice cream because, of course, this Halloween we chose to go with the Killer Clowns theme, and uh, this particular film definitely has to be talked about yes. on our show because it is a wonderful film. It is. <laughs> executed very nicely. Uh, it, it definitely harks back to the uh, 80s type mm -hmm. horror, which is what we yeah. both love about it. It has a really good theme. Yeah. This was a film that was directed by Tom Holland of yes. Fright Night fame. And, and Child's Play. Oh, Child's Play. Yeah, let's not forget. <laughs> Who doesn't love Child's Play, right? You can't say that. Who right. doesn't love the Chucky movies? Right. Oh my god. Who doesn't love the Chucky movies? Right. Oh my god. Right. Anyhow. Uh, <laughs> it was written by David Shaw. And uh, the story was originally by uh, John Ferris. Yes. Um, uh, Which is I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. So it was a short story that he wrote. Yes. Okay. Was that what the song was based off? Of? It, the, yes. Okay. Okay. That, that's the whole okay. thing, you know, is that it became like this little song and thing from that short story that he wrote. Oh, okay. And so they hired um, David Cho who um, also wrote The Crow, which you love. Yes, love The Crow. And um, he did this, and then he kind of just condensed it to We All Spring for Ice Cream. And ah. um, it's awesome. I love yes, this Yes, it is. Movie. It's definitely a, a, the special effects, man. You're always going to hear me rave about yes. the special effects because I'm a special effects guy. I love special effects. Yes. I love... You know, everything. Well, that's what you do. Exactly. I love doing everything right. from non traditional effects, you know, right. using whatever you can, you know, to, to pull off an effect, all the way to the high end, you know, uh, silicon based, gelatin based special effects. I love it all. Right. I mean, I, I, right. I, I'm definitely not a hater. And this I, utilizes all of it. it yes. Uses, it utilizes practical effects, um, special CG. effects, CG, mm -hmm. it, it, it utilizes everything. And, um, but these, the masters of horror, this is a series that was on Showtime originally. Yes, I remember that. And yes, and um, it only ran it two seasons, which is very unfortunate. It didn't get as much support as I believe it should have. Um, but there were 26 episodes. There were 13 in each season. Uh -huh. And then Chiller started running it on its Friday night slot. And um, I don't know if it's that they just picked a bad night to put it on, Friday night at 10 o'clock when everybody's at the bar. And, um, <laughs> it could have been. Could have been uh, I was at home watching them. Right? So, you know, you it, know. It, it's, it's all about, you know, anybody will tell you in this business, it's all about timing, timing and circumstances. Yes. So I, yes. I, I'm, my guess is it was just bad timing. But bad these, time these men are phenomenal. Yes, when you course. look at the directors mm -hmm. and the writers that they paired up, they're phenomenal. Now, there are a few bad ones in there. I'm not going to say all of the movies are great. Um, but but we also love bad, though. But we do love bad. And um, there, there's just a few in there where you're like, uh, no, I don't want to buy that one. You know? <laughs> not really and good. so, like Mario was just showing you, this one, you can buy them individually or you can buy them in, in sets. So and we have how, them both, of course. Uh, we do because <laughs> we're just troubled like that. Right. Um, but these are read the synopsis of this movie for them. You've got to tell okay. them kind of like sum up this movie. Okay, for so them. check this out. This is the the synopsis verbatim. Okay, in the fifties, an ice cream man in a clown suit and makeup is accidentally killed during a prank by kids. Now, years later, the kids are adults, and the clown's ghost is back for revenge. <laughs> Does that not sound like it an sounds 80s, great? Like an eighties film, yes. eighties horror film. It's totally eighties, yeah. you know. It, it is. It has that throwback feel. But I think these directors were going for that. They were. Yeah. They very much stayed at their roots with these films exactly. that they did. Exactly. And um, they're very. Some of them are very disturbing stories. 
they're um, they're very creepy. Yes. And these men are amazing. John Carpenter did one. Um, Dario Argento. He has a huge cult following. He did one or two. I can't. I think he did two. Um, you know, they're <coughs> they're amazing. Excuse me. And so you have a chance to look at a lot of really good and I think they're all only an hour a little bit over an hour long so mm -hmm. they're not you know over, what yeah. you would consider full hour and a half two hour movies that we get today Correct. and um, but they're awesome yes I love them. and can I say that I just absolutely love, love the design of the clown don't you love the artwork on that I love the artwork but yes. I especially love the design of the actual clown in the film the way they make him look like he's frosted and everything yes and icicles and everything. yes very disturbing, man. Like, right. like, if anybody's ever Googled images of this character from ice, cream, from ice cream, from ice cream, Bobby. Very disturbing. If you're a fan of clowns, man, happened. get ready to wait yourself. Yeah. He's definitely. Uh, he's definitely well, and we didn't that. mention that William Forsythe is in this. That's true. William and um, and he always brings it. Yep. I have seen him in some of the lowest no budget films. Yeah. And he brings it every time to every part that he does. Yes, he does. He, he is, is phenomenal. An excellent uh, yes. killer clown in this. He is one of my favorite actors in this movie or yeah. a killer clown spirit i should say yes uh but another thing that i really dug in this movie was the whole concept yes. behind the ice cream mm -hmm. there's a tie-in okay between <laughs> the, what happens to people when they eat the ice cream you know i'm not we're not going to tell you because you need to see it for yourself right but just get ready for some really gross special effects yes which is ultimately what this is all about right when you watch these kind of movies you, you watch yeah. it for the special effects i mean come on man that's yeah. that's what our that's what hard these fans are great love. Films. Yeah. I, I love them. I, I we could sit here all day and talk about these because I love these. When you were a kid, did you these ever I watched when they originally came out. I couldn't wait, wait to watch them every week. And because um, all these directors, I go to their movies. I buy their DVDs. I just I love what they do. But these the are. I just thought that the majority of these they just brought, brought it hasn't brought it well and special effects are phenomenal and really good stories and just great scary movies. Yep. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, because when it comes to this type of genre of films, especially when they're about clowns, a lot of times you'll get the silly, outlandish right. storylines or whatever. Right. This one kind of really brought it all together in a, in a very clever way right. and presented it uh, in a polished fashion. I mean, of course, I mean, look at look at who directed it. You know, look at look at you know these are all the masters mm -hmm. of horror. They these are. Aren't, these aren't these you know fly by night wannabes. These no, the guys they're not. They're the guys that pretty much started it all. Yeah. Um, and so. this one, um, this this series won several awards. Right. And um, it was worthy of it, which really surprised me when it ended. You know, when here you are two seasons later and you're just, that that was it. You didn't get any more. And the Chiller Channel went away. That's and it was showing this. Yeah, it was re-showing these, and which was great. That went away. That got absorbed into um, the sci-fi oh, channel. Oh, really? Sci-fi channel? Yes, that absorbed into that, and um, and there was a series on Chiller um, that you and I watched, Slasher. Netflix ended up picking that one up. Okay, so so uh, there, there's a lot of that we could really talk about with all of these. There is so many tie-ins yeah. to these Masters of War and these films where they've gone on and done other things. And, but it, it's phenomenal. So I definitely, I want people to comment below um, if you've seen any of these and which ones are your favorite and like this video. Yeah, and especially if, you, if you've if seen We All Scream For Ice, we wanna know what you think about this one in particular. Definitely. Since this is what this video is specifically yep. about. Like I said, we could have gone into all the other episodes, oh. but then this would have been like <laughs> a, a three hour episode. And I don't know if you guys wanna- And you don't wanna watch Yeah, you don't wanna watch us for three hours. So anyhow- We're not that fun. <laughs> so We're anyhow, uh, <laughs> please like this video. Subscribe yes. to our channel. Tell all your friends about us. Comment. You know, we love to talk. We, obviously. Obviously. So, um, okay. yeah. Thank you for joining us for another episode yes. of Two Barbie Reviewers. So, you guys take care out there. Bye -bye. We'll see you next week.